so I had asked you, I want to experience more bliss. And uh, we had talked about some points on that, like to meditate more and to set intentions uh, during uh, meditation. And we also spoke about uh, experiencing less life. So I'm surprised with that. Do we have to uh, just meditate all the time to experience bliss? And if that's the case, what is the use of, of that bliss? You know, why can't we be a package of being busy and uh, being successful and pulling in people into meditation and as well as being blissful, you know, a package like you. That's why life is here. Why did you take a human life? We took a human life to experience more, to know our greatness, the greatness of this consciousness. And so we have to experience more. And what is that more is equal to your purpose. They all have come with certain things. So it's meditation, we align to it, and then we experience it. It's not, bliss is not necessarily the state that you want to go to because you try to go there, but if it's not your purpose, that what you come here for, you'll never be happy there. That's why people who try to do that and they're not happy. Okay. It may be some people's design to be that, but by default, we're here to experience something. And so we experience it. That's why we say samsara is nirvana. So be in here, don't go away, and then experience it. What do you experience? Aligning to your purpose. If you have to be a business person doing a business or business, you do that. If you have to be single, you do it, right? Everything has a place and value. And so then we do what we intend what we came here to do what is coming here to do is nothing but what gives us deep happiness so we're trying to align to it through meditation to gain that clarity but in meditation when we recognize that there is something far greater is there than happiness then we start looking at the temporariness of our current experience so we stay detached to it that's the key then we come back and say what i'm experiencing is so little so why am I holding on to it? Why am I just constantly being with this? So we stay detached with the experience and we constantly seek and higher models of pleasure and happiness and the learning. So that's what will happen. Okay, so there is a sense of attachment as well as a detachment. As yeah, we, practice. we are very, very attached. But then when we are experiencing these larger things, then you know that there is something far beyond here. So I should not just hold, limit myself to what I'm doing. Yeah? I got my current work is the most important. So I give all 16 hours to it because I have to earn more money. When you meditate, you experience some bliss. Wow, this is like feels so good compared to even my money brought me or no, my work brought me. And so why am I just stuck, getting stuck in this, my work all the time? Let me take that extra one hour time to try to do this. And so by doing so, you have already made an initial step of you know, getting detached to what you're doing, right? And moving towards more spontaneous things that are coming into your life. 